Arrest Netanyahu for war crimes. Everybody knows this is the right thing to do. You know this is the right thing to do. And if you have some sort of objection to it, then it's probably something that we can fix right now in your mind because something's wrong with your mind if you object to the idea of arresting Netanyahu for war crimes. Now, if you object to this or you don't think it can possibly happen, those are two kind of different things. But if you object to it, first I would suggest that you probably, your excuse for objecting to Netanyahu being arrested for war crimes is Hamas and October 7th. Well, arrest Hamas for war crimes. Why do we skip that step? Why is it expected and accepted for anything to happen to people at the bottom? Not just people who might do something wrong, but everybody. But it's also expected, and especially by their supporters, accepted for nothing to happen to people at the top, even when they've done terrible, terrible things, done far worse things than anybody else is capable of doing because of the powers that they have at their control. Well, the fact that we accept that is wrong. And when we try to point out, hey, you know, people at the bottom are suffering, the people at the top whine about it and have backlashes that destroy countries, as is happening in America, um, when people are just trying to protest that Black Lives Matter and the people that want to deny that want, will destroy the entire country, Supreme Court, etc., just to get their way, just to throw their tantrum. Or just, you know, to serve someone else's purposes because they don't really know what they're doing. That's why I'm talking to you. You don't know what you're doing if you don't think that Netanyahu should be in jail for war crimes. Now, if you don't think it's going to happen, if you don't think it's likely, that is being realistic. But maybe we need to change that reality. Because, again, the justice system is fine doing all sorts of things to people at the bottom, whether they did anything wrong or not. But we'll never do anything to people at the top. Not just the American justice system, as we see with this delay or, you know, charade of justice for Trump. But, you know, there's no international criminal court or no UN that's forceful enough to stop these tyrants and genocides. Maybe we need to change our priorities entirely just by agreeing to a rule. Nobody poor goes to jail again until the richest people go. They were the first to get good things. They should be the first to get the consequences of the bad things they've done. And if people want anybody else off the streets, we need to go ahead and start with people at the top. I think we'll find as soon as we remove those people who are causing all the problems for everybody, there'll be a lot less people in bad circumstances who end up doing bad things numbers-wise at the bottom. Everybody at the bottom will be doing better. And we'll actually be able to live in good utopian lives if we just get rid of the tyrants. It won't be that hard. They could even have really cushy jail cells. We could ship them all off to Tyrant Island. They could have a reality TV show where they vote for contestants to serve them. People that like to do that sort of thing can go live there and compete to stay on the island to serve the dictators. Just make Dictator Island, make it a reality show, make it really nice for them, but get them out of places of power where they're hurting people. Thank you.